The Girl with Big, Big Questions, written by Brittany Wynne Lee, with illustrations by Jacob Suva. There once was a girl with twinkling eyes and a very curious mind. This girl was always asking questions whose answers weren't easy to find. The world is so very interesting. She wanted to learn all she could from what makes a plane stay in the sky to what makes each person good. Her days were filled with adventures galore since her mind was so full of wonder. How long can a turtle stay in its shell? Why does lightning come before thunder? Why can't people live on the moon? What happens to stars when they fall? When will you let me stay up all night? <gasps> Why even have bedtime at all? What does the dog do while I'm away at school? Hey, how was the whole world made? And why do we have big hearts that can feel hurt and upset and afraid? Could I fly if I got a good running start? The nearest volcano is where? Are monsters real? What's Spanish for blue? Is it okay to cut my own hair? From the moment she opened her eyes for the day to the time she was tucked into bed, she'd ask and ask and ask and ask every question that popped into her head. At first, her neighbors, teachers, and friends tried to answer her wonder-filled mind. But after a while, their encouraging smiles were replaced by the rolling of eyes. She noticed her questions were making them tense, and one day her class hit their limit. After she asked a dozen things about clouds, the class hollered, please stop, just quit it. Embarrassed, the girl tried to quiet her thoughts and not raise a voice so curious so that no one would be too uncomfortable or even worse, furious. But one day, she found the nest of a bird built low and exposed near the ground. Why would a nest not be in a tree, she wondered, and then looked around. She was all by herself with no one to ask. So she ran to the library shelves. She read about cities and lack of safe places for birds to build nests for themselves. Like hunting for treasure, she searched and learned more answers that made her frown. With an urgent report, she announced to her class, there are not enough trees in this town. The class, now moved by this information, asked questions about how to embark on a project to help both the birds and their neighbors by planting more trees in their parks. The girl knew then that big questions are good and answers aren't just things to know. They are things to discover alongside each other. Asking questions is how we all grow.